Look into these faces and see one of the world's oldest Christian communities searching for hope in the midst of desolation. Iraq's Christians are wounded, killed, and grieving in the violence that's shaking their country. But this isn't just fallout from the fighting between Shia and Sunni Muslims. Christians in Iraq are deliberately targeted. More than 15 churches have been attacked since the fall of Saddam in 2003. And hundreds of Christians have been killed. The past six months alone, seven priests have been kidnapped and two of them murdered. It is too dangerous for Christians in Baghdad. We didn't go to church because we were afraid they would blow it up. To understand the significance, you must look at the history. The bloodlines of about 70% of Iraq's 750,000 Christians reach back to the Chaldeans or Assyrians, prominent peoples in the Old Testament. Their ancestors began worshiping in Iraq more than 500 years before the birth of Muhammad and Islam. Many Assyrian Christians still speak and worship in Aramaic, the ancient language of Jesus. But today, fear is widespread throughout the traditional Iraqi church. Even in northern Iraq, churches are on edge. In a quiet suburb in the city of Kirkuk, Bashir Samir Sawa is at home with her husband and daughter. That's where they spend almost all of their time these days. She says fear of kidnap or attack has turned their home into a prison. We cannot go to church for prayers or even go shopping. We fear to do anything. Honestly, we are oppressed here. This Assyrian church in Kirkuk stands as a symbol of the community's past glory. But the present state of affairs is deeply troubling for the city's Assyrian archbishop, Louis Sacco. Many Christians have been kidnapped or be also beheaded on one, one priest. We are feeling bad. We are upset because Iraqis are killed. And now we are looking forward uh, for a new Iraq, uh, a new country who each one of us can live uh, with dignity and freedom. Tens of thousands of Assyrians and Chaldeans have fled to neighboring countries such as Syria and Jordan. Dr. Donny George was director of the National Museum in Baghdad until he felt compelled to leave Iraq last year. Prompted, he says, by death threats from Muslim extremists. He believes that unless the international community intervenes, Christian life in Iraq faces extinction. There will be no Christians in Iraq. There will be no Assyrians in, in Iraq. And this is an awful thing, you know, just a country where the original people from that country are driven away.